by selecting the stairs architectural object from the drawing menu, we can draw a wide variety of stair types. To insert the stairs object, simply click on the workspace to place it into position and therefore access the dedicated editor. Now we can proceed by selecting the element, whether it be a ramp, a landing, spiral staircase and so on. So let's select the ramp object and with a click notice how the object is now attached to the mouse cursor on the screen. With the F5 and F6 function keys we can move the attachment point and with F7 and F8 we can rotate it at 90 degree steps. To fix the ramp into position we can again use the intersection points provided by the building enclosures but also using the greater than less than key to set the insertion point at a desired distance from a different point. We will then proceed in the same way and insert a second ramp. And then by inserting a landing. With an object in select mode, we can then put it into edit and modify its geometry to suit our needs. In fact, with the purple grip, we can rigidly move the entire segment and with the blue grips, move the entire node. With the options menu, you can insert or delete nodes or convert a line into an arc. We will now proceed in the same way to insert a second landing and then modify it. As you can see we have finished modeling the stairs and the riser heights have been automatically adapted to overcome the floor level difference. Selecting the stairs in 3D view, you can change the type, the geometrical characteristics, and of course the materials. Once we have completed our model, simply click on finish to close the editor.